We're on our way to assess the damage in uh, Grand Isle, Louisiana, and uh, see if we can help some of our clients get a good idea of like what their camp looks like, um, assess Grand Isle, you know, just in general, how long it's going to take us to get back in there. And, um, you know, of course, I have a camp down there too, so really want to know uh, what we're looking at as far as uh, damage. So, Craig, uh, we're uh, heading to Grand Isle. Tell us like what we should expect. So on our way uh, passing over Homa, you're going to start to see the devastation from Ida. They had some significant winds um, between all of the communities were affected. Basically, everyone was affected in one way or another. You're going to see the damage increase as we get towards Galliano, and then we head south. Uh, Grand Isle's just devastated. It's in pretty rough shape. Everyone's affected in one way or another. We need to get a damage assessment. We need to understand what we actually need to get down to help and get people home as fast as possible. What's some of the uh, most devastating things you've seen so far with Ida down here? Uh, you know, some of the uh, lesser quality homes that weren't necessarily built up to the latest hurricane standards have really been uh, hit the hardest. You'll see uh, some modern construction homes that were built to withstand the 115 knot winds plus. We'll be right next to uh, an older home that has probably been through several storms. And all of a sudden, this older home will literally be missing half of its roof. You can see all of their belongings strewn out throughout their yard, you know, um, and then you find out that someone may have been in that home during the storm because they didn't evacuate. It, it, it's pretty rough. There are some areas in Louisiana that are hurting. All right, I'm ahead for the edge where there's lack of debris. And we'll hover high for just a second and blow away anything that might hit in our rotor system. Basically five, five days since uh, landfall of Ida. And uh, as you can see behind me, we've got one of, this is one of the most iconic camps in Grand Isle, the Cancun. This was a uh, four level deck that was iconic on this beach. What we're seeing here is uh, lots of devastation, even though from a lot of the aerial photos, you can't really tell. It looks like some of these, these camps did okay. When you get to ground level, it's a different story in most cases. Uh, you know, you've got walls that are blown out. You've got roofs that are open, windows broken. And, uh, you know, most of this is not going to be repairable. Everything is down, so it's gonna take a complete rehaul on the infrastructure here. And I don't think we're gonna see anything for at least a, you know, 30 to 60 days before we get power to most of the camps here. So I wouldn't advise anybody coming here. There's really no water, there's no sewer, there's no electricity, and there's no food. So, uh, you know, I would, uh, you know, advise just waiting it out and then once they get some power up to, to maybe come check it out. What we see here is just total destruction, billions of dollars of damage here in South Louisiana. We need homes for a lot of people right now. We need short-term rentals, we need long-term rentals, and we even need homes to sell because some of these people aren't gonna be going home for a very, very long time. You know, this isn't about making money, it's about helping fellow Louisianians put roofs over their head, get them clean water, and just get the basic amenities. So if you know somebody, or if you have a house that you're thinking about selling or are renting out short-term or long-term rental, please let us know. Either way, uh, please reach out to us if you have any, uh, any resources. I'm Jim Cady, Cady Real Estate, coming to you from Grand Island.